So, I'm a typical British person, and as such, I like a good cup of tea. Now, typically, we drink about three cups of these a day, um, so that's about a thousand a year, so it'd be worth going through how I go about making one of these. So, first thing I do is grab the uh, kettle, and go to the sink, and this, this thing's cold, there's, not, there's nothing, nothing in it, there's nothing spilled, so I'm completely fine just putting it on my knee and taking it to the sink, then sink on, and fill it up. Uh, now my balance is a bit off, so what I'm doing is I'm holding myself up with my arm. See if I have enough one cup. So what I can do is put it inside, move across, then take it, put it on, flip the kettle on, and wait for it to boil. Okay. So that should be long enough. Uh, now, this thing is hot and dangerous. This is where all the safety stuff comes in. You don't want to spill this at all on your lap or anything like that. Um, you don't want to be with a burn uh, back in the spinal unit or in the burns unit or wherever you go if you get hot water all over yourself. So, at no point does anything hot come over your lap at all in this situation. So I'm not going to grab this and pour it and pour it over here. Everything happens this side of me. So I'm sort of sitting with my right shoulder towards the uh, counter, that's my dominant side. Um, now I take my tea bag and plop it in. Um, you can use coffee as well, but why would you do that? And then what you can do, what, well, what I do is uh, sort of drop onto my wheel because my lack of balance, um, and this is quite heavy, so if I, if I just pick it up, without bracing myself at all, I'll just flop over. So yeah, I'll just grab my wheel like this, brace myself, uh, keeping my body weight on this arm, and pick it up, and you can just pour it in. Um, now, I'm tall enough to see um, whether or not it's full, but on a high counter like this, uh, a lot of people down low won't be able to see what they're doing. So another thing you can do is grab the cup, and bring it down here. Notice that uh, I've kept it on this side of my body and I'm bracing myself with this arm. Um, so I can keep this here, uh, grab this, still brace myself with this arm, and you'll be able to see better pouring it in here so you know whether you've filled it or not. Uh, notice that neither the cup nor the uh, kettle are above my lap. If anything falls, it'll fall down here, uh, and um, all you'll worry about is if a splashback um, is an issue. So, notice that I didn't touch the milk until this point, because putting the milk in first is absolute sacrilege. Um, yep, pick up the milk, out of the fridge, and then just pour it in. Job. And of course, if you have sugars, uh, you can grab those. And I don't actually use sugars, I don't know where they are. Uh, here, and just put your sugars in to your taste. Grab a spoon. Don't want to dip your fingers in. Take out the tea bag, and I usually just put it in a jar because you don't want to be just like you know, the spoon over to find the bin. Um, I usually put these in a jar, fill up the jar, put it in the bin. Easy. Now, this covers how to make a cup of tea uh, in an, an, another video uh, very soon. I'll be going through all of the ways that you can transport this tea from where it is to where you want it to be. So I hope you found this video helpful. 
and thank you for watching.